am live from Greece. Can you believe it? We just left Crete and having a great time. I spent the day in the sun, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna do my one compact makeup, the makeup I really love. Lighting's a little wonky. I'm doing my best. I'm out on my balcony, which is so cool. You can probably hear the ocean in the background. And um, I have this lighted mirror, so hopefully we're good to go. But what's going on? And I hope you guys are doing really, really good. Hope you're having a good Sunday. So we're gonna do a little bit. I've been out in the sun, so my skin is a little bit dehydrated. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of my um, multi balm stick on, but I'm also gonna use a little bit of my calming gel. Um, this has like seven layer. I think that's right. Seven layer hyaluronic acid in it. Lots of hydrating properties. It'll help my redness. A little bit burnt. Not not too bad. But I'm gonna put this on. This is gonna kind of be like my primer for my face. This is what I do most days. I use my calming gel. We're gonna let that set. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the multi, the multi stick underneath my eye just to make sure I'm not dry. I'm not gonna use a lot. Um, it's pretty humid here. So my skin isn't really overly dry, but I was out in the sun a lot more than normal. All right, so we're gonna let that soak in. And while I let that soak in, I'm just gonna grab my stuff. All right, so. This is, if you don't know, if you have mature skin and you have not looked at this makeup, um, check it out because look at my profile, kind of watch some of my videos. This is a makeup that I found because I was to the point where I was wearing no makeup. And if you're, I'm 54, I'm gonna be 55 this month. And if you have hit your late 40s, you know what I'm talking about. And you might even be in your 70s and you're like, I haven't worn makeup for 20 years. <laughs> I get it, I totally get it because that's where I was. I was doing a little bit of mascara and I hated everything that I was using and it was setting in my lines. It wasn't doing what I wanted. It didn't give me coverage. It made me look dull and that's not what I wanted at all. So I've totally revamped everything. All of my makeup, everything that I use is in here. I'm trying to think, except my eyebrow pen. I have something else. So this is all my eyeshadows, my powder, my illuminators, my contour, my bronzer, all the things. This is my vacation one. And hey, I'm with a bunch of makeup ladies and I still only brought an 18 because I'm like, we're just gonna call it good. So, all right, so I'm gonna grab just a brush here. This is actually a buff brush because I'm just gonna attack the redness for now. So for me, I look at my face and I look at it and go, what do I want to do today? Do I want a real minimal look? but yet I still wanted to kind of take care of those pink areas and maybe my under eyes, a little bit of bronzer and walk out the door, which is totally fine. I look very put together. Or do I want a little bit more? And you know, I don't really know for sure what I want right now, because even if I only take care of my redness and do some blush, I feel like it looks pretty good. But here's my deeper shade. I actually have three highlight shades. These are highlights, just call them foundations. And I use two for my face. And the reason I use two is I have a little bit darker here and here. So because I have mature skin, I use the darker on those darker areas so I can use less. And it gives me just a better skin look than if I use the lighter. It's not gonna give me the coverage that I want. So this really just melts into my skin, gives me the best look that I can get. So I kinda gotta look a little bit behind my phone here. <laughs> This is a little bit tricky. This is different than doing it at home. Okay, so see how just I'm evening out my skin tone. That's really what my goal is right now. And I'm just gonna even out that skin tone. And that was a little bit of a burn. And then I have just a tiny bit on my nose, but it's covering really, really well with this color. This is golden hour. And you'll look on the website and you're gonna like, holy crap, Sonia, that's dark. They're not represented really well on, that, on the website, but look at those. You wouldn't think to ever put that color on my face, but it just, it gives you the prettiest glow. So, all right, a little bit of story time here. So when I was on the airplane on the way here and from Detroit, Michigan to Athens, Greece, it was 10 hours and 35 minutes. I think they actually made it a little bit faster than that, but it was a 10 hour flight. And there was a gal sitting a row behind me on the end. And I, I mean, we didn't chat nothing the entire time. And we, we land. And she looks at me and she says, now I'm putting on my second highlight color. She looks at me and she says, do you wear Saint makeup? Now I'm thinking maybe she followed my Instagram or I don't know. I, I just, I didn't really know what to think <laughs> or if she knew about the trip, you know, cause this is the trip. And she says, 
I don't use Saint Makeup, but I follow a lot of Saint artists and your makeup looks really good. I was completely blown away. I was like, now mind you, I had been on a plane for a really long time and my makeup did not look stellar. <laughs> but it must have looked pretty decent. Hang on, I got a hair or something in my eye for her to say that. And I just thought, what a testimony to the makeup because I don't wear, like I don't have this makeup-y look. I just have a, a, a look that takes care of the things that I want to take care of. All right, I'm gonna grab my little bit smaller brush here. I'm gonna grab this brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer to my under eyes. So as you can see, I have some shadowing going on, which looks a little funky, but this line here, that's not actually darkness. It's actually a shadow. But I do have purple and I have blue and all of that. And I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer and on this fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna darken this up a little bit to help blend in my purple and my blue, like so. What are you guys doing? This is so fun. I'm like, you know, I have to do a video from Greece. I mean, we're headed to Turkey tomorrow, which is really cool. We, we didn't get off the ship today. We were kind of lame. I was exhausted. I didn't really know, I didn't booked an excursion. There really wasn't anything that I necessarily wanted to do. There wasn't anything in Crete that I was just like, oh gosh, you can't not get off. Like Santorini, if you don't get off the ship, you've lost your mind. <laughs> you just, you really have to get off. But uh, yeah, with this one, I was like, oh, it was okay. And I'm sure I missed something amazing, but it was okay. I really needed a day just to chill out. Okay, so that was a little bit of bronzer on my lighter areas to blend in my darkness. So I'm actually darkening to blend in the dark. I know, it's just the weirdest concept. And then I'm gonna put bronzer where the sun hits me. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my forehead and it's gonna create a little bit of dimension. Not really a lot of lift, but some dimension. Um, bronzer, I feel like for our mature skin and a cream bronzer is really amazing for mature skin. Now, hang on, I gotta, I'm sitting on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit here. And so this is where you're gonna start seeing a little bit of that dimension come in. And I probably won't even contour I'm gonna put a little bit here. Now, what I'm finding is with this little bit of pink, especially with a little bit extra sun, I've actually been taking the bronzer and putting it more back here and not really any on the redness. And I feel like it helps blend that in a little bit. So I'm taking a fluffy brush. This one might even be a little bit too big. A little bit of bronzer, a little bit here, and a little bit here on my neck. Okay, are we good? Okay, I literally cannot see myself. So the calming gel, I probably would have let that soak in a little bit longer. If you guys use this makeup or you try it, you really need to let your skincare soak in for one, but make sure you're not using any products with dimethicone underneath them. I've been having some gals um, messaging me that they've gotten their color match, and I talk about this, it's in the color match form, but you need to make sure that you are not using something with dimethicone because it can make this, the makeup slip. Now there's some people that can get away with it, but. I would say for the most part, it's best to just stay away from the dimethicone. And it's in sunscreens and it's in skin um, moisturizers. What I find is our makeup is hydrating enough that you really don't even need a moisturizer underneath. I know that sounds contrary and I get a lot of questions on what about primer? What primer do you use? I don't, I don't use primer. I don't feel like you need it. If you get your right colors and your application, I just don't feel like you're gonna need a primer at all. I know. I think that the industry has kind of told us that we need a primer and we just don't. Okay. Need that nice pretty coral. As I'm here, I'm gonna put a little bit on with my finger. I've been doing this a lot lately, like that. And I love putting it on. <laughs> I know that's so contrary and so weird. I mess up my application is what I do if I don't do this. If I, so not always, but I'll get it too wide and then I'm like, I find with this, I can feel right here on my cheekbone exactly where it needs to go and I tap it on, it's so stupid. I mean, you would think by now that I could just slap it on, but I just like it this way and I feel like I ha it really helps melting it into my skin by tapping it with my finger. But then I will take a brush like, I use either the shape brush I should have laid it out. My shade brush or my blend brush is my favorite then to just kind of tap it in. This is the blend. These are all double-ended, which is amazing. So then 
go like so. Am I rocking? We took off and, um, okay, so if you guys have ever been on a cruise, and I have never, ever been on a cruise, I was so worried because I can get motion sick really easy in a car or a bus or whatever. And I was like, I don't know about this. I'm really worried. Da, 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 da. And my friend told me, she's a travel agent. Go follow her. She's Leah's Excursions, I think. And she's like, I don't really think you're going to feel the boat move. And I thought, oh, no. No. Seriously. You hardly feel. I mean, we're rocking a little bit. I would say this is the most we've rocked at all. And you could see it move in the pool, which was kind of weird. But it doesn't make me sick, which is so good. Okay. So, we got my blushes one pretty good and then let's brighten a little bit so i liked lately taking a little bit of a smaller brush but you can use the small end of the blend brush i've been grabbing like this one that i use for the bronzer and i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to take it into my brightener now this would be the only one that maybe you would be like that's not a foundation sonia because here's your foundations it's still a highlight but this is where your brightener or your highlight that you would call it go okay as a mature woman, rules that we have that can really, really help you is less is best. That's probably going to be your number one rule as a mature lady is less is best. And then you need to make sure that the makeup color is dark enough. I feel like we're waving. It's dark enough for you. If it's too light, it's going to make you look cakey. It's going to, you're going to have to put more on to maybe get the coverage that you want. And have you ever seen where like makeup will actually set in the pores? That's what you don't want. And sometimes unless it's like a mattifying makeup, it'll do that if it's too light. So my makeup colors match my skin really well and I put them in strategic areas. So now I'm gonna be strategic again because this brightener, if I put it like, if you put a lot like, let's say right directly on your under eyes, where do we have the most lines in when we start aging? Right on our under eyes. So I avoid that area completely. I will put a little bit here where I do have some crow's feet, but it doesn't settle in those lines. I must not smile enough. It doesn't settle in those lines. But even here along this part of my face, I'm really careful there too. So let me just show you what I do and then you need to play around. So let's not get too much. That's, that's a plenty. So watch, I'm gonna tap a little bit here and here because I got a little bit too much on. I'm gonna tap it off on my hand and then I'm gonna take it here, like on the side of my nose and then I'm going to tap it out a little bit. Because remember, I, I darkened this with bronzer. Oh, I forgot to color correct my eyes. That's all right. We're just going to take it like so, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit more, and I'm going to lift up this tiny bit on my eye. Now, this is where I said I have crow's feet. See? I have crow's feet, but it doesn't seem to bother them. It doesn't accent them and bring them out like a light color can. And I'm going to tap just a little bit right here. So it's gonna create that lift. We want lift. Everything is going down, and maybe everything <laughs> as a mature lady is going down. So we're gonna to try to create as much lift as we can. And I'm even gonna put it in a couple areas that maybe you wouldn't think about here in just a minute. Look at my mirror. All right, so let's go like that, a little bit in the temple. And if you feel like you get too much, just take a finger, like I did right there. I just I can't see very good. And then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna flip this. It's this double-ended. I'm gonna flip it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit right here under the high point of my brow. This one you can't see, but let's do it anyway. Okay, <clears throat> let's do that. And then let's go here to the middle. If you have deep 11s, you can skip this right there. And then I'm gonna go right down the middle of my nose. Okay, that, that's gonna create lift. Again, you get this brightness and you're gonna create lift. So above that brow is a really great place because we don't have a lot of <clears throat> a lot of wrinkling right there, and that'll help create lift because our brows fall, our foreheads fall, it all just falls. Okay, so now I kind of carve out a cheekbone and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me do something. Fluffy end, and then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go underneath where I would've put contour or just my blush, like so, okay, like that. Now I'm gonna carve out I'm gonna tap a little bit on here, so there's not a lot. And then I'm just gonna start going like this, like that. The reason I do this is I'm sinking in right here. That's why I have jowls, okay? And so if I kind of take that and I carve it out, it gives me a little bit of lift. Hi, Mary. 
scary. I don't know what's going on over there. They're being loud. Oh, you are so sweet. How's it going? So my Mary that's on here right now, she was in Florida and she was one of the few that still had power. Um, yeah, which was absolutely amazing. Okay, so we are brightened, again, under the contour line, a little bit right here. That'll really give you some lift and a little bit right here, you're gonna create some an extra lift. Okay, I didn't bring my lip stuff out here. But that's okay. Let's just okay. I am gonna powder because again, it's it's kind of humid. It's humid in Greece. <laughs> Can you believe I'm in Greece? Okay, so this is a powder brush, and this is our vanilla dust. This is the one I brought. This one I like. We have another one that's a blotting um, powder. I'm still playing with that. I'm gonna give you guys my final my final um, thoughts on it. I'm just I keep playing with it. It, it's a blotting powder and it's different. This powder I feel like is a little bit more that mattifying feel, um, a little bit more like I'm oily in my T-zone, I want a translucent powder, just a little bit, remember less is best, and I'm gonna pick that one. The blurring, I don't have it in here, my blurring powder, it has a little bit of a illuminate, oh, it's the wrong word, what did they say it had? It has a little bit of a sheen to it, you can even wear, if you have no makeup on, you can kind of put it on and then it'll create a, a pretty glow. But I feel like that one is more like, let me, let's pretend I'm using the blotting. Then you would do it more like right in here where you blur it, where you want that skin to be blurred and it's really pretty. So that might be one that you like. And so it, I just feel like they might have different functions for us. So for me, I'm gonna probably be using both because I like this one if I'm feeling humid and I feel like, oh, I'm probably gonna get oilier later, which that can be a skincare issue too. Okay, this blush looks dark. It's really not, it's the lighting in here. Um, something I've been doing, I'm not gonna do it right now, but one thing that you can do, let me grab the fluffy end of my shape brush. So you can set your lip and cheek, set your blush with eyeshadow. So I had sandstone, you could take a little bit of like Zion, not very much, you don't want much. Like, and then you can kind of set it. This is just something I've been playing with too and I've been using it on my lips too. I don't feel like you have to set it. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's an extra thing like, hey, I have a wedding, I have to do my makeup five, six, seven hours before, I don't have time to touch it up then maybe that's something a little extra that you can do. Hey you, what's going on? I am so glad you guys are here and I don't even know what time it is in the States. Noon, maybe on the East Coast. Okay, so I don't typically use a matte lip and cheek on my lips, but I'm going to because I forgot to bring my other stuff out here. So this is a little bit of Madrid, but I have my oil. Remember I have my balm stick on? So that's giving me a little bit of a, a gloss. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Madrid on here. Like so, can you see it? Okay, so that feels pretty good because I have that gloss underneath. And then if you want, um, sometimes stick a little bit of cream illuminator in the center, you can stick a little bit Eleven eighteen. Hope oh, it's even earlier than what I thought. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. I am gonna go. Thank you for being here. If you guys need anything, of course, put the comments down below, and I will get back with you. All right. What do they? I don't even know how they say goodbye in Greek. Well, anyway. See ya. <laughs>